Hey guys, Nick up here at Maple Motors in Hendersonville, Tennessee. Today's test drive, 1972 Cadillac sedan here. Believed to be 472 under the hood, power steering, power brakes. And this thing's pretty sweet. Aftermarket set of wheels. Checking those out. Of course, we got the four door vinyl top. Chrome all looks nice and clean all the way around on this one. Fender skirts there. It's even got an alarm system. It's like the classic alarm system. Let's hit it. I thought it was pretty funny. It's kind of cool. Cool factor here. <laughs> Guys, check out Detail Pictures financing. And yes, power locks. <laughs> MapleMotors.com. That's all we sell is classic American muscle cars here. And if you're new to the channel, hit subscribe and share this video. We do have financing and shipping available also on that website. For now, it's about that time. Let's go for a ride. Let's look around the interior, check everything out. They got a steering wheel cover in here. Looks like the old steering wheel's got some cracks. Place your bets till you think the horn works. It's pretty cold, so I'm gonna go ahead and start this up. Pretty good sound. Squeaky belt there. Looks like it went away. Show you the mileage. It is a 72 model. It's harder to stand behind mileage. Do got about half a tank of gas. Tilt column. Turn signals. Left side's blinking and right side is blinking too. Radio. I believe I'm on, but nothing. Okay, let's hit the road, 
see how this one runs and drives. Okay, so this is the first time that I've driven this ride here. I did find the seat belt, it's behind me. Go ahead and plug those in. Then we're gonna take off down the road. Let's try reverse while we're in the parking lot here. That power steering feels awesome, look at that. Up here. Let's roll along. Brakes feel nice and soft. That's pretty good. Here we go. This feels like a dream rolling out of the lot. It's super smooth. Speedometer is coming up on the dash. It's a very tight steering. I mean, as soon as I turn, it's turning there. Straight. Checking those brakes again. They're not pulling. It's straight. Getting into the throttle. Kick down. Did engage. Just got a little bit of popping coming from that carburetor. We're gonna keep driving it. See if we can get that out. Sometimes ethanol will build up inside the carburetor there and, and cause it to uh, leave like a residue behind once it evaporates. And sometimes that needs to be cleaned or driven out. And that's what it feels like is going on there. So we're gonna do a little bit longer of a test drive here to see if we can get that to go away. If you're not floored it, you don't even notice it. Just normal driving. This runs and drives awesome. Like I said, let her warm up some more, clear out that carburetor. That issue should be gone. Definitely feels a lot better already. Up next, we're gonna get some undercarriage shots, some outside shots. And then I'm going to end with picking out the flaws. We'll see y'all here in a minute.
Here we go again. Gotta find that seat belt I'm sitting on. I went ahead and did the walk around on this one. I put it at the end of the video. So far, so good. Had a lot of people pull up and uh, actually disrupt the video a little bit, but it's not bad. As long as I remember where I ended. <laughs> but we're rolling out of here now. And I'll tell you what. We're going this way. There's a lot going on over that way in construction and stuff. I actually had a hard time finding a good spot to finish these videos. So I came back over here to the volleyball place. On a course. We'll just hit the back roads now. So I've had it running for at least a solid hour. No issues. I do that with pretty much every car. Let's try the... Remember it was popping before? It's clearing up. It ain't doing any of that anymore. Just nice and smooth. We'll try it again just from a takeoff here. Whoa, you ripped the tires for it. No popping at all. That's all done with. So it did clear up. Just needed a little drive time there. I seriously think you could take this on a road trip. It's that smooth, it's running that good. Everybody be passed out of sleep. Cause it feels like you're riding on a cloud. <laughs> It's just so quiet going down the road. You could drive this car every day. So picking out the flaws is coming up next. I already did that in a uh, separate parking lot over there. Had a good little spot to do it too. I do hope you've enjoyed this video. There's a bump in the road here. Listen. Not too bad. Here's the ashtray. <laughs> and be sure to check the description below. MapleMotors.com. We update every Monday with new rides. And the lot's right around the corner. We'll see y'all in a minute. Thanks, guys.
Okay, picking out the flaws. Let's walk around this ride. Anything I find, you'll know about it. Detail pictures, maplemotors.com. So far, rides like a Cadillac. Nice and smooth, clean car inside and out. Coming around your front, front bumper on this one. The chrome is still in good shape. Nice and clean, same with the grill. Yeah, a little sunburn there behind the bumper. Headlight bezels look pretty good. Yeah, same thing on this side, it's like some sunburn on the little plastic piece there. And down this side, she long. And some wire wheels on here. traveled everywhere a little chip the chips there ding right here back to mid section of course the shadows in the way there so we're gonna walk backwards here chrome looks good on the door Top here too. And over the top, little spots there. Chips. Mirror looks good. The weather stripping's okay. It does have some little cracks in the corners there, up top here, on this edge. Trim looks good. Front windshield is nice, nice and clean. I don't really see any scratches or chips. Trim there is in good shape too. Back window looks nice. Vinyl top on this one, check for any kind of rust popping up. You do got some age, a little dryness going on there. You can kind of see it running down the top. See it in the middle too. Back window and the trim looks good. Got some dirt there to wipe off. Back bumper, decent shape. Dirt there. A little scuff on the side here. The seal looks good. Tell you what, the trunk looks like it's sweating. See some condensation build up in here. Looking down in here, yeah, it's just leaking is what it's doing. So the trunk is leaking somewhere. Could be the back window. Um, there's a seal in your back window and it may be just getting through there. And then it's glued down. But when we get back to the lot, we'll send it back to the cleanup bay, have them vacuum it, and let the sun do the rest to dry this one out. But it looks pretty good in the trunk. You're coming down with it. 
Shot's good. <laughs> Little scuff here. Coming around this side. Scuff on top. Got a little rust popping up here under the vinyl top on this side right there as well. We'll make our way to the top. Let's go down the bottom portion first. On top of the paint, it should come out. A little chip there. bubble light scratch here as well and that door it's very light it's hard to see and it looks like it's just sitting on top like a lot of this stuff will just come off some here a little indention there that won't same of this scuff here and there. We're cracking the paint there. Right here as well. Chips. Something sitting on top that should come out. Chip. And a little spot there on the nose here. Out of that fender. Chips. Back window looks good, trim looks good. Light little cracks in the vinyl. See how it's kind of sun beating. Sun beating on the roof. You having problems with it? No, I'm doing a review selling the car. I just thought, I just, hey, best car running right there. Oh yeah, no, they're pretty nice. Oh, you selling me? Yeah, I'm making a video. I, I like the bat. <laughs> okay. Let's finish here. Looking around that top, you can see little cracks. Dry stuff. Coming across your front windshield on this one. It's pretty clean. I don't see any kind of scratches or chips. A spot in the corner there chips up top we've made it around the ride let's go ahead and check out the inside we'll shut the door again he came up and was checking it all out Make sure I showed them little chips there I did get slightly confused when he came up and that happens I'm usually stuck for 10 minutes or so showing uh, the car to someone that pulled it up so. All right, let's check out the interior and get her started. So on this one, the door panel's in great shape. It seems like all the electronics are working except for this. I couldn't get it to do anything. It's just kind of loose up in there, you hear it? A little spot there, bottom of the door. Come on, there we go. I really like this front camera they put on this camera there in the spot so yeah I've used GoPros for years and they, they treated me really well but I started with this DJI Osmos 3 camera and it's just it just feels like I really upgraded with 
how I'm able to video here. I know it did have, there's little glitches every once in a while that I see, but the workhorse part is awesome. I haven't had it shut off or do anything overheating. It doesn't do that. Not yet. So yeah, if you want to see this camera, look below. I have a link for it. It's quite a bit. It's about $100 cheaper than a GoPro too, which I was shocked in the quality. I don't sell for them. I'm just bragging on it because I like it. <laughs> The bottoms of the seats, man, if you could just fix the bottoms of the seats, it would be it'd be totally worth it. I mean, it's just right there in those stitches. It seems like that's where it's coming apart. And I'm sure this is original. Oh, that one's got a rip there, but still. Same with the back. The top parts of the seats look awesome. I don't really see anything ripped. Same with your package tray. And your door panels, they they all look good. Headliner. This thing's really been taken care of. I mean, you're gonna have issues like this when this is a 72 model and you're sitting in the seat all the time. But the back of it, I mean, that's pretty clean. So instead of redoing the whole interior, I mean, the carpet still looks good. We're gonna start it. Check that out. This sounds awesome. Motor's quiet. Let's have some bubbles popping up. down with the hood here. So you see how I'm having to shake it back and forth. This is very stiff on the springs. And then of course the hinges are stiff up here in the corners. You'll push down on those, get everything lined up. Obviously a good greasing would help out quite a bit see some spots on the edges there some spots up here in the front guys i do appreciate you watching maplemotors.com is your friend go there check it out finance and ship it detail pictures and i do this every day so help me out hit subscribe follow our channel every monday we're putting out about 10 to 15 cars just keep your eyes open might have something for you thanks guys